Hey guys, it's me, the star dash dash, and today I'm gonna be talking about my opinion about Adagio Dazzle, the one with orange hair, um, Aria Blaze, <laughs> the one with purple hair, and it's not a dust. The one with blue hair from the Dazzling slash Sirens from both uh, Milo Pony, Frederick Magic, and the Questory Girls. So, yeah, let's get right in this video then. And so, these three girls originally came from Frederick Magic, but Hasbro decided to um, uh, introduce them in the in Questory Girls. During the second movie in 2015 called Rainbow Rocks, and their whole and their whole thing is that they're sirens from Equestria that can use these pendants to steal magic and and uh, hatred and emotions, I guess, from ponies. But then starts for the beard and banish them to the human world. And so now they just feed off of the negative emotions from humans, I guess. And then in the movie, uh, they try to take over Cancel High One Rocks. But then Sunset Shimmer, along with the friends and Pony Twilight, are able to take them down and destroy the pendants, trapping them in the human world. So now they're stuck there, I guess. And yeah, that's it really for um, Rainbow Rocks. Um, they don't return, sadly, until uh, 2019. Five years later, and they uh, and, and they only appear for like a, a scene or two in Sunset's backstage pass, where they sing a song called "Find the Magic," and this time they're using vocal processing, I believe, which is decent, I guess. So yeah, and uh, and, and Sunset accuses them of stealing this a magical question artifact, which they don't have. Luckily. It was someone else, but I'm not gonna spoil it because, yeah. Anyways, uh, my opinion about um, Dajo Dazzle is that she's a good character. Uh, she's a she's kind of a good like you know like she's a good leader, but she she can be a little bit rational at times, I guess. Aria Blaze is. She tries to take over leadership at times, but, you know, sh she just learned to back down, I guess, and follow orders. So, yeah, I respect that about her. It's not a dusk. <laughs> She's the less intelligent Dazzling, but, you know, she is funny at times, I guess. When she, when she, when she talks about tacos, like, for example, in the, first question, in the second question, she goes, you remember rocks. She goes, it's Taco Tuesday. And, in, and also in uh, Sunset's Backstage Pass, when she goes, um, it's, um, if, what she, oh, her line is, um, it, um, it's not my fault. Uh, I know it wasn't that, like, uh, the line is, how, uh, how am I supposed to know you come with tacos or poster? But uh, yeah, my whole opinion about each girl is that they're kind of, and they're and they're all good characters, but some of them have weaknesses and flaws. I feel like a Sonata has most of them. I feel like Ari and uh, Adagio also have weaknesses too, but it's nothing too serious. A Sonata has major weaknesses. I would I would say, but uh yeah um this is the last opinion video for 2023, and it's currently about. Quarter past four or or four fifteen. If you don't know, if you don't understand analog of twenty uh, uh, on the last day of twenty twenty three. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. See you guys next time and have a happy new year.